Welcome back folks, Barry Mountford here. We are back with another video. It's been a while, it's been a very good while in fact. Um, it's been months. Um, long overdue, I did say in one of my last videos that I wouldn't be frequently making YouTube videos for the channel. I want to be exploring a lot more genre, different types of genres of photography and that's exactly what I have been doing. But this video really is all about why I haven't actually made a review of the Nikon Z8. So ironically, this is hands down the best camera I've probably ever owned. And it's the first camera that I've never actually jumped on to YouTube to make reviews about. I've reviewed the Z6 II, the Z6, the Z30, the Z50. I've reviewed all of those cameras but for some reason, the Z8, when I picked that up, I was going through that period where I just wasn't looking forward to making YouTube content. I wanted to try something completely new, something completely different, and it's been fantastic. Got to admit, it's been absolutely a breath of fresh air. Now, I'm not going to beat around the bush. The main reason why I haven't jumped onto the Z8 bandwagon and created a ton of videos regarding that fantastic camera is because I've been focusing on photography solely photography so the opportunity to get out and photograph and just solely photograph without any distractions without any thought about making a video about the next scene the next shot trying to create a story it's just been so refreshing and so relieving it's just been so enjoyable back to how it used to be when i first picked up a camera i used to go out and just photograph many different things just me the camera and nothing else it's been so refreshing. I cannot, I cannot tell you how important it actually is to forget about all of the social media side of things, creating videos if that's what you do for YouTube or other platforms and just enjoy what you do because that's got to be the focus. I do want to be the man who loves cameras. I want to be the man who loves photography and that's where I'm swaying back to. So hopefully everything I've learned in the past on YouTube, how to create videos, That'll all come full circle and I'll be able to kind of merge that in with the love of photography once again rather than really just focusing on gear and just snippets of photography because really I want to be focusing on the photography and just snippets of gear. In the past, I focused a lot on the gear. I'm a gearhead. I love gear. There's no getting away from it. I absolutely love tech. I just do. It's in me blood. So I won't apologise for that, but it has kind of been taken over what I've actually loved to do, what I haven't been doing enough of, and that is getting out and actually using the camera. But not just that, I specifically going out now and trying a brand new genre of photography in the form of wildlife photography. A genre that I never ever expected to like. Um, in the past, I've seen a lot, uh, admired a lot of people's photographs of wildlife but it's kind of never floated my boat to get out there and mix it up with wildlife and a camera. Just hasn't been my thing up until the past probably seven months. Wildlife is difficult. It's a difficult genre of photography when you're first starting out. So I'm taking all of the small steps in my local area to try and get used to shooting wildlife. Things that fly, things that move. I'm so used to shooting things in the studio, which are nice and still, which have lights set up, which is quite easy to get a photograph of once you understand the lighting. But wildlife photography is a completely different concept. There's so much involved in it. There's a lot of patience. If anything it's taught us is patience. Um, and I've loved it, loved every minute of it. Something that I'm gonna love continuing to do as well. Obviously I'm gonna still be shooting other stuff, no doubt, I know that, but this is a whole new world to me, one which I'm absolutely super excited to explore more, one going forward, which I'm hoping to share with you once I kind of understand how to record that type of content when I'm out and about. If it gets in the way of the photography, then I will just put it to one side and maybe just record a video afterwards, talk about it then, because that may be an easy way for me to share that kind of experience with you guys. So that's kind of we i'm thinking i've got to admit it's been absolutely fantastic so taking a break away from all social media all video creating content for youtube and just solely focusing on wildlife photography has been absolutely amazing i've been to some great places locally places that i kind of again would never even have dreamt of going 
friend of mine, Mark Whitelock, I put a link to the web page below, you can go and check him out. He contacted me, actually we were speaking and he mentioned that we're actually going on a, a boat trip up at the Farn Islands one week, if I fancied heading out, and testing out a new lens. I bought the 200 to 500, so I jumped at the chance, went out there, absolutely fantastic. And for those who actually know me, know I don't fare well at all on a boat. In fact, it's that bad. I walked down a gang walk to the ferry on the Mersey, and before I even stepped on the ferry, I was green when I was younger. However, that was one of the best experiences I've had in a long time. Now, also, on the flip side of that, anybody who shoots from a boat with a 500mm lens, I salute you. I take my hat off to you because it was the most difficult thing I've ever had to try and do, especially in quite a swell in the boat. The boat's going up and down and I'm trying to photograph birds in flight. That was a very, very difficult situation, but a great, great experience. One, which I plan on doing again. Now I've done it once and now I kind of know what to expect and know how to handle the camera a little bit better. Albeit that actually wasn't with the Z8, that was with the Z6 too. Um, but obviously testing out that lens again, the experience was fantastic. Uh, I've had many an opportunity to actually create great content for YouTube and put some great videos out there. But I've deliberately chose not to, specifically for the reason that I just wanted to focus on photography. Uh, I won't apologize for that because it's been fantastic. And I would actually advise you all to actually step away from the gear side of things and if you're a creator and want to just concentrate on photography itself i would advise you to do that take a break do it it's been absolutely fantastic one which i'll never regret much one which i'm going to continue to do because there are a few other genres of photography that i really want to get my feet into as well and try out there's so many great genres out there to kind of study understand learn learn new skills and um, it's just too tempting not to and for the first time in a long time I've been more excited about getting out and photographing, which is how it used to be, than the actual gear I'm using. And that's been such a relief, such a weight off my shoulders because the channel has kind of always been gear orientated. Don't get us wrong, loved it, had a great experience, love learning new things, and that's what tech does. It brings with it a full learning curve, um, new ways of doing things, new ways to learn, and new ways to share things as well. So not knocking that, I will actually produce videos I know for a fact I will about gear in the future. I kind of get away from it because I absolutely love it. But just being out there solely on my own, just me with the nature, has been absolutely fantastic. I headed up to a hide local to me, Kingfisher Hide. First time I've ever, ever tried out sitting in a hide. Again, never ever floated me boat beforehand, but honestly, absolutely fantastic experience to see all the wildlife just sit there and observe all these birds the kingfisher everything that comes in the sounds just the light watching the light float across the scene absolutely amazing experience and i had the most fantastic time i think we spent about six hours in this hide photographing the kingfisher and all of his friends i did put a little video together i'll pop a link above you and go and check that out if you are interested but it was just great to get out there and just experience it I've been out shoot. I've had this fascination with hairs. Didn't realise I had hairs on my doorstep. I've managed to find some not far from me. And I am having the most fantastic time going out and trying to photograph these super fast, super cute animals, which again, I've passed before on my bike, never really took much notice. But now I'm on my belly crawling through grass with a long lens, trying to get kind of a good perspective of these hairs to try and grab some really good photographs. And again, the experience is absolutely fantastic. I'm sitting in a field and the hair spotted us from a distance. It came bombing over to see who I was in his field and just sat there in front of us only metres away. I've never experienced that before. That may be nothing to many people who are in this kind of photo genre of photography, probably out in the wilds of Africa and all these amazing places around the world. There's so much that I actually want to photograph in the wild. Um, so this is just the tip of it, but I'm kind of just getting used to settings, the environment, how to approach the environment, how to approach the wildlife. Um, just such an amazing, amazing experience. And you kind of get that by being in a studio. You know, I've shot product photography for a long time now. It's technical. You get to understand the light and you get to make some great images. But that connection with the photograph just doesn't compare 
to wildlife photography. It doesn't even compare to portrait photography either, another genre which I love. It doesn't compare to street photography either, another genre of photography which I really, really enjoy and love. So there's just so much out there to go and explore and enjoy that I just haven't had the time, or I haven't found the time, I didn't even want to create any videos about these outings. I just want to solely photograph, or uh, solely concentrate on the photography itself and it has been absolutely fantastic but I thought I would put this video together because it's been a while and although this camera is an absolute amazing tool and that's I'm going to be making videos about it I think now I'm sitting in front of the camera now I've got the lights on I'm in the studio and I do have a bit of downtime why not make some videos about this camera I'm going to find it difficult to get out when I'm shooting in the wild, making videos, I don't know how that will work because it's just difficult to photograph in wildlife. You get one chance, one shot, and then it's gone in a split second. So it is difficult to photograph and record video at the same time. So I may come up with a concept for that. I may not. I may just enjoy the experience of being out there and then talk about it afterwards. I don't know. I'm going to see how that progresses. But it's something that is on my mind, something that I may try and do for the channel as well. So I just wanted to kind of let you guys know where we are. Great to see you guys once again. It's been a while. I know I will be back with more videos. Maybe infrequent, more than likely will be infrequent if I'm out photographing uh, in the wild. But bear with us. It's been fantastic. There'll be more videos coming of the Nikon the Z8 because it is truly a beast of a camera and probably the next video I'm actually going to put together is do you actually need to upgrade to the Z8 and that's a very important question actually and one which I think will help a lot of people out because I have upgraded but I don't think you may need to upgrade you may want to I'm not sure but that's what I'm going to talk about in the next video so thanks very much for watching folks it's been great to get back behind the camera and I'm looking forward to making some more videos. So I'll see you folks in the next one. See you then.